Hey everyone, it's Ryan from Foxtech, and today I'm going to show you how to download photos from a Google Drive link on your iPhone. It's a pretty straightforward process, but there are a few differences depending on whether or not you have the Google Drive app installed on your phone. Let's get right into it. First, you'll need to locate the Google Drive link that someone has shared with you. Once you've found the link, tap on it. If you have the Google Drive app installed on your iPhone, the link will automatically open within the app, giving you immediate access to the photos. You'll be able to see all the images in the folder that was shared with you. From there, you can download photos individually by tapping and holding on the image you want, or you can select multiple images by holding down on one and then selecting others. There's also a button in the upper right corner of the screen that lets you select all the loaded images at once. It doesn't necessarily select every single image in the folder, but it can save you some time if you're trying to download a bunch of them at once. Once you've selected the images you want to download, click the download button. Your iPhone may prompt you to allow Google Drive access to your Photos app. If you see this message, make sure to grant access so the images can be saved directly into your Photos app. Now, if you don't have the Google Drive app installed, the link will open in Safari instead. In this case, the process is a bit different. You won't be able to select multiple images at once in the browser. Instead, you'll need to open each photo individually, then save it to your gallery. It's a little more manual, but it works just fine. Of course, some features like bulk downloading aren't available in the browser version. Google really encourages you to use the app for that. And that's how you download photos from a Google Drive link on your iPhone whether you're using the app or Safari. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more iPhone tips and tricks. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.